Hello and welcome back to app for you in this particular video we will be discussing a new problem from linked list and basically the problem is multiplying two linked list right so basically we will be provided with two linked list linked list one right it has got some set of elements in linked list one that ends with null and again we have another linked list two that also has got some set of elements and it ends with null right now we have to basically form a number using this elements right in the sequence for example suppose if there is one linked list like let me just show you the example here to make it more clear yeah suppose i have linked list one which consists of elements three followed by two followed by null right and linked list two consists of elements only two followed by null so what is the number formed using these two digits basically 32 right read from left to right it is 32 what is the number formed using the this uh, digit 2 you have to find the product of these two which will basically be nothing but 64 right similarly if you have a linked list 1 which consists of elements like 1 followed by 0 followed by 0 followed by null another linked list 2 which has elements like 1 followed by 0 followed by null then basically the product of these two linked list will be nothing but you can see this is 100 here 100 into this is 10 here which is nothing but 1000 right so accordingly you have to basically give the answer so i hope this was clear it is very simple now let us jump into the coding part but, but before that they have also mentioned one thing the output could be large right the output here basically can be large and hence they are advising us to use modulo 10 power 9 plus 7 this particular value to prevent overflow right this is basically used in uh, coding to prevent overflow in computer programming and i'll be basically sharing you an article on this Right, uh, the article is very well explained in geek for geeks I'll be sharing that uh, link to that article in the description. You can understand how 10 power 9 plus 7 basically helps in preventing overflow. Right, uh, there is a whole lot article discussion on that. Anyway, so we will basically take care of overflow. We will ensure that there is no overflow taking place by using this particular value. Fine. So yeah, that's it. Let us now quickly start our discussion. So considering our window, a uh, problem window, but us basically you can see we have been basically to we have to basically define this function multiplying two list right what are the things that you're receiving so it's very basic we are receiving two linked list right linked list one and linked list two and basically we are receiving the head nodes of the two linked list so in our example suppose i am using the example three followed by two followed by null suppose this is the example that i'm taking this is linked list one linked list two has only one element that is two followed by null right now how should thing work basically we should basically uh, you know we have received the pointer to this that is l1 we have received the pointer to this that is l2 so let us do one thing uh, so the general thing that we generally do basically we declare nodes struct node i am here declaring star p1 comma star p2 right what will i do i will say p1 will point to the head of the first linked list and p2 will point to the head of the second linked list that's it done so accordingly we will plant our p1 and p2 in this linked list so basically you can see p1 will take its place so p1 has taken this place p2 has taken this place okay now we will traverse this linked list while p1 is not equal to null getting the point so basically we will say while p1 is not equal to null right so as long as p1 is not equal to null what we should do we should basically form a number now the number as you can see that we are we are receiving very large digits right so basically the number can be very long and hence i'll be preferring long long integer num1 right comma let it initially be zero similarly num2 equal to zero got the point so two numbers which will be very of long long type right what should we do we should say while p1 not equal to null we will traverse the entire linked list from left to right and say num1 is equal to num1 into 10 plus that p1's data getting the point get p1 data so what will happen is basically you can see you have three here so initially my num1 is equal to zero right initially my num1 is equal to zero so what will happen is first time when you when p1 is pointing to three for the first time it is not equal to null true get inside the loop and now num1 will be updated to num1 equal to num1 which is zero into 10 plus p1 data p1 data is nothing but three so which will be equal to nothing but three got the point next time what we are going to do we are in going to increase p1 so basically we will say p1 equal to p1 next here okay so p1 increased so now p1 is pointing to node 2 
now here again p2 is not uh, p1 sorry p1 is not equal to null true get inside num1 equal to num1 what is the current value of num1 3 into 10 plus p data p of data will be nothing but 2 which is equal to 32 you see we have successfully comp uh, found out our number 32 now again p equal to p next so p will now point to null and we know that when p equal to null we will not enter the loop that's it so we have our number one with us what is the number two now basically the same thing we are going to copy the same technique will be applied to the second list also and we will say while p2 is not equal to null num2 is equal to num2 into 10 plus p2 data right and this will be nothing but p2 equal to p2 next that's it right so num1 is ready num2 is ready now one more thing Remember, we had talked about uh, taking care of overflow. So basically, they have given us 10 power 9 plus 7, right? Use mod of this. This is basically a prime number. And if you expand it, it will be nothing but like this. No, plus 7, which will be nothing but this number, right? So we will initialize. Now, this is also a, a long number. So basically, I will be declaring it again here. Long, long. Suppose I'm declaring as int mod suppose i am declaring a variable mod and it will be basically 1 0 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 7 right yeah so this value i am writing here so i hope it is fine yeah great now you see now the moment we are writing a dumb one equal to num1 into 10 plus p1 of data we are getting some value right now it might occur some time that the value is very high so in that particular case we should take the help of this so basically what we are doing whenever we are computing some value we are going to modulate, uh, do modulus of mod value, right? We are going to do modulus of mod to prevent the overflow. That is why I am saying uh, I'll be referring, um, I'll be basically sharing a link to this article how modulus works, and these are the properties of modulus basically, right? So again, in this case also, we know that there might be a chance of overflow in the entire product, in the entire product. That's why I'm, I'll be dividing it by uh, modulus by mod. I'll be doing modulus mod. So modulus, this value also modulus mod, done, fine. Now what should we return? We should return the product of num1 into num2. Again, we will do modulus of mod to prevent overflow. I hope you understood this. That's all from this particular problem. Yeah, so let us now quickly see how it works. Let us compile the code. Let us submit. So the code has been successfully executed, right? So yeah, this is from that's all from this particular video. I hope this video was helpful. In case in case of any doubt, please feel free to put it out in the comment section and just like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.